What's going on guys? Zio here from the Awesome Nerd Show bringing you more Dragon Ball Super Dragon Stars figures and this time we have Series 14 which includes Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, our first figure of Krillin and Super Saiyan Gohan. So with Gogeta we've had a Gogeta figure before, we've had the Super Saiyan 4 figures of both Goku and Vegeta that make this up so we've pretty much already somewhat seen this just a little bit in different colors and then for Gohan we've already had the Super Saiyan Gohan, he just didn't have the cape on so that's the only difference. So like I said really the main figure we have here to look at is Krillin because the other two we've already seen. We're going to open up and take a look at all of them. So I hope you're excited to check these out. If you are, let me know with a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have for me down below. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's go and check them out. So starting off with the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And this looks pretty cool as usual. But again, we've seen this pretty much already. So in this form, it's Super Saiyan 4, which again, we've seen before. And I'll show you here in a second. And so it has the red monkey fur and everything. That's kind of like the signifier of the Super Saiyan 4 mode. But this is also the fusion of Goku and Vegeta. So it has their metamoran form of both of them mixed up together combined with their Super Saiyan 4. So there's multiple layers of stuff going on here. And just to show you, so here we have the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So you can see them with their red monkey fur and everything. So it's just a combination of them together mixed into one to get the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So this figure looks pretty cool. I really love the look and design of it. I always love the red gray ape fur, which is supposed to be more of like a brown color. And then it has crimson hair, at least by how it's described from the show. But in the figure, it doesn't really look too much. It looks just like a dark red for fur and then like a bright orange color for the hair which looks pretty crazy but it looks awesome though so it's all nice up and spiked and everything looks very cool has the long strands of hair just looks awesome but the orange color looks incredible you can see the orange there at the eyebrows and then it's got blue eyes and then with it being super saiyan 4 with the 8 version so it has the red fur like we've already seen the somewhat like monkey chest there on the front and then it has the monkey tail hanging down there off the back but then since it is also the fusion and the metamorn it has the metamorn clothes so it has the vest on here the black vest with the orange padding around the shoulders and color there then we got the white pants the blue sashes and then the black boots down at the bottom so it looks very cool again it's just a mashup of different forms going in together which looks really cool so first movement so his head can twist just a little again it's hard with the hair especially being down in the front and the back it limits the movements and then just these figures in general don't have very good joints in the head in general so they're always like looking down at the ground so you just you don't get a whole lot of movement going on there you just get a little bit of a wiggle going on you can turn just a little bit to each of the sides but that's about all you get and then we go to the shoulders so the shoulders can come up a tad over 90 degrees and then of course they can rotate all the way around in there and then we get a bicep twist and a double elbow joint that allows it to bend up to a 90 degree angle there and then we go to the wrist where it has the ball joint there as usual and the wrist can twist around and then it has a flexibility it can only go in one direction but you can sometimes get the ball to turn around a certain directions so you can go like back and forth or if you get it turned around you can then get it to go up and down but they're a little bit difficult and that's why I don't like the ball joints on these very much and then we go to the ab crunch so it has just a little bit of a crunching and not too much movement at all there especially with the sash up there so you don't get a whole lot of movement so he just kind of again wiggles back and forth but it allows him to twist side to side so that's the main movement you get there and then we have the legs that come out you can really see the joint there so especially if you pull it down you can really get the joint but you can push it back up in there to kind of hide it but with the movements you can get the Gapro all the way around in 360 so you get all sorts of range of movement out to the side really far with the knees we have the classic knee joints for these so you don't get a whole lot of movements I'd say like a double knee since you have the two joints there but it's just one joint that you don't get a whole lot of movement and then the foot we just have a movement back and forth just like the hands so it depends on where the ball is but it can also twist around all the way around pretty easily but then you just go rock back and forth depending on where the joint in the ball is so nothing too drastic or special going on there again I hate their joints they stand up pretty well like compared to like the DC multiverse figures we've been getting that have those sort of ball joints on them now they don't stand up at all hardly but these figures don't really have too many issues standing up so for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta since he is a combination of Go Goku and Vegeta. He's known to have an attitude that's playful and cocky, so you get a mixture of both of them. So in this form, he's really powerful, so he has incredible speed and extraordinary power and energy, but he can only stay in this form for 10 minutes and can use some notable moves like the Stardust Breaker and the Big Bang Kamehameha. And speaking of Kamehameha, of course, we get the hands to do that extra thrown in there. So you get the fist hands and the Kamehameha hands, but that's really all we got here for the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And next up, we've got Krillin. So Krillin is the best friend of Goku they train together under Master Roshi. So he's wearing a gi just like Goku with the Kame symbol right there on his chest. He also becomes the husband of Android 18 and his main identifiers is that he's short and bald which of course is never a fun thing to be. So if we look at Krillin here again he's in an outfit just like Goku but this is the first time we've got Krillin so again he's like the new figure from this set and so as we see him he is a little bit of a shorter figure especially to compare him to the Gogeta here so you can definitely tell the difference. So we see he has no hair on his head but it's not because he's like has some weird issues he just shaves it off because he grew up in a monastery so monks tend to shave their
their head and so he did as well. So some of the kind of fun stuff with his face. So as you can see his eyes are the same color as his skin. That's just the way he's been cartooned in the series. So he doesn't have white eyes or anything so it kind of matches in with his skin. And then he has like no identifiable nose so he just has like what looks to be like the upper lip. And it could be like a nose in that area but it just isn't drawn in for some reason. And then he has the six circles there on his forehead which are scars from a moxie bustion burn which again is kind of like a monkelated thing. So again another identifier there on his head. And then like I kind of mentioned from his waist down he's pretty much identical to Goku so not much difference like obviously he's shorter but it just looks like a miniature version of Goku. We have the orange Gion again with the blue sashes the weighted armbands and ankle bands and then he has different shoes on though he has more like what I'd say like monk shoes and stuff so it's the blue shoes with the white socks showing. Again the Kame logo there on his chest and then there on his back which of course means turtle in Japanese. So his movements are going to be pretty much the same so the head though can twist there side to side and again doesn't look you can look down a little bit more but you can't really go up higher. Again shoulders come out over 90 degrees there rotate all the way around bicep twist double elbow joint and the wrist can again twist around and then flex with the ball ab crunch you can move a little bit more there but twist mostly legs come out again and rotate all the way around out to the side there the double knee joint thing and doesn't bend too much and the foot that flexes back and forth and twists all the way around so krillin's just a pretty basic looking figure there but unfortunately for krillin he is considered to be weak especially compared to all the sands because he is an earthling born character but compared to all the other earthlings he is one of the strongest earthlings there are and because of this over time we saw him become more like the comic relief character but he has some notable moves of like a headbutt the balloon technique farting which is kind of funny destructo disc and again the kamehameha which we also get the hands there for him as well but krillin's still an enjoyable character and our last character is super saiyan gohan which we've had him once already unfortunately he's buried in a box so i wasn't able to get him out but he was in the exact same attire the only difference is that he has the shoulder pads and cape of piccolo so really that's the only difference this is just a new version that they keep doing now with these dragon stars so gohan is the son of Goku and Chi Chi and again we've talked about this in the past but he's a very intelligent kid and he doesn't like to fight but he will when he needs to and when he does he's a super powerful fighter and he is in super saiyan form so he does have the spiked yellow hair so it's almost like a golden color in this version and again he's wearing the demon outfit so he has the purple gi the blue sash the weighted band and the Namekian shoes so again dressed a lot like Piccolo and then he now in this version has the white cape and weighted shoulder pads that he got from Piccolo and he's wearing them because Piccolo was his first mentor so he just wants to take after him. So for Gohan his movements are going to be about the same but this is a little bit different. I haven't looked too much into this but I feel he's made a little bit different than the others and you'll see why. His head actually has movements and he has a gap between his neck and his actual head and so he has room to move so he can actually look down and look up. Of course his hair and stuff gets in the way with the cape but he can actually move his head around and he can move a lot more so he can move you know, really far to each of the sides and he can move his head down quite a bit so his cape's the only thing that's really stopped him from getting a lot of movement. So that's just a little bit weird. I don't know if that's just this version, like if his head's not popped down, which I can't get it down anymore, or what. But I mean, I really like that if this is something new they're doing, that they're actually making some changes to these so you can actually get more movement there. That's pretty cool to me. And then he's going to be pretty much the same for the rest. So the shoulders do come up, but of course are limited by the pads and then they can rotate around, which I feel his arms are a little bit different too. Their joints look a little bit different inside there compared to the others, but I may just not be looking close enough at him to really notice it. But he has the bicep twist the double elbow joint and with his he does get more range of movement so he can get a lot closer up to his face so like with the krillin here his only go about the 90 degrees so as you can see there's more range of movement so that's why i feel they're doing something different but then the wrist is going to be just the same on the ball there and it can rotate back and forth so it can rotate around there and flex on that joint then we have the ab crunch and again with the sash and stuff he doesn't get too much movement mostly a twist there his legs come out again can rotate all the way around but can come up over 90 degrees out to the side the knee there that allows about 90 degree bend again they haven't really fixed anything with that though and then we get the feet at the bottom that twist all the way around and can flex again on the joint so a little bit of differences here with the neck again that allows more range of movement and the elbow so that's kind of fun and enjoyable and again i hope they if they continue on with this line we have two more waves still that they've actually announced and shown before they come out so it'll be interesting to see if the changes continue on with those and then if they continue the line after that what other additional changes they may make into it as well but i really like the look of go on here i didn't write any of his moves down because he pretty much does all the same stuff the key blast and of course the kamehameha which again we have the hands there for him as well so nothing too drastic or different about him man we've already went over gohan before in the past so you can check that video out it'll be in the playlist linked at the end but that's gonna be it for this version of gohan so that's gonna be it for series 14 of the dragon ball super dragon star so this was a pretty fun set again we've got pretty much two repeats but we have the super saiyan 4 gogeta so it's a little bit different super saiyan 4 but with the fusion version and then we've got gohan which we've had before he just has
has the cape and shoulder pads. But we got a new figure of Krillin, which is pretty cool. So overall, again, not a bad set. I hope they give up on making all these like redo characters. Like the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta was fine, but the Gohan, they need to stop repeating characters, just adding a little bit of tweaks. But let me know your opinions down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. And of course, hit that subscribe button to see more of the Dragon Star series videos whenever they release the figures. But I hope you enjoyed. Remember to stay awesome, and I'll see you next time.